Hello, K1 fans. This is K1 World Grand Prix 2021 Japan. K's Fist of Four. This is day one. I'm Russell Goodall. And I am Nicholas Pittis. Because we've got uh, Koya Urabe versus Hikaru Hasumi in this uh, K1 lightweight yeah. uh, fight. So, Urabe, he's got, uh, they call him the untouchable. He's had all these uh, different uh, champion uh, titles against uh, Hasumi. They call him the hard puncher from Tochigi, which is part of Japan. We'll, right. see what, we'll see who wins with the experience and the technique of Urabe or Hasumi and his hard punching. So interesting fight record here for Urabe. He's got 50 wins with 13 kills and 10 defeats. Impressive. And a fight record like that just tells you that he is a fantastic technician. Mm. He might not be taking you out very fast, but mm -hmm. he will be very consistent right. throughout the whole fight. So he's kind of like the fighters that I like to watch. Mm. So he can do the same thing and keep that pace yeah. throughout, throughout any game, any fight. And so Hasumi is a MMA fighter? He, Come up he, from that? Yes, he, yeah, he would start off with the MMA. Right. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good kick. Hasumi is a, a slightly shorter one, but only about a centimeter or two from uh, Urabe. Right. So I think uh, that seems to be a good combination, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, oh, nice. He moves like he's done karate before, this guy Urabe. Hmm. Yeah, Urabe comes from a uh, uh, karate background too. Nice. His older brother is also came up from the ring many times. They even he had a fight with his brother too in the ring. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the detriment of their mum. Oh the fight, my yeah. god. But anyway, as you say, he's a, he does he is known for, for his technique and his wins. Mm, I like his kicks. I like it because it's a lot of low kicking. Mm. That's definitely cut the style. You know this fight, it looks a more stocky and has more of that. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Wow. Precise. Kicking. See, you low kick again. Sorry. That was a little bit close. Same scenario as we've seen in other fights where it's south ball also versus orthodox. Uh -huh. The inside low kick is an easy target to hit a private part, unfortunately. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Yeah. Nice. And, and down, up high and down low again. Yeah, that was a sneaky kick. Wow, he's kind of. They're both going like, okay, come on. Ten <laughs> seconds already left, down the first round. Wow, that, that Ooh. Ooh. Oh, last. Oh, and he's strong. They're actually physically really strong, both of them. Yeah, yeah you both got great power. A lot of muscle there. Which um, I assume by the looks of it. But, uh, this round, I guess, showing and, and looking at each other, I guess, seeing what they've got. What, what would you think of that first round? I think Urabi got the better of Hasumi in the first round. Mm -hmm. um, not maybe so much by points. I didn't think he was like, uh, you know, overpowering him too much so that he could get a 10-9, but a probably 10-10 count on this one would be fair to say. But we could see that um, Urabi's, uh, you know, karate skills with the sneaky kicks and stuff like that. Yeah. It's kind of funny to watch. But he was really calm and collected like I expected him to be. I mean, his record tells him must have what, what kind of fighter he is for sure. Yeah. Second And maybe I'm assuming with his MMA background will kind of bring something different. Obviously a different style. Uh, of round two. Here we go in the second round between Koyo Urabe and Hikaru Hasumi. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, oh, another one. Oh! Okay. Whoa, that was a big punch. How can anyone stand up from that? But Hasumi is doing that, walking around. 
and uh, telling the judge and his opponent that he is, the referee that he is okay, or, or is he okay? Wow. Well, so I think he got a low blow, and then he was kind of distracted, and that's why he got punched, and that's why he got dropped. So it's a little bit something, I'd, yeah, I want to see the, uh, the slow motion. That one hit him for sure, and then, see, low blow, Kick low blow, and so he's like in pain, and then he gets dropped like that. Wow. Yeah. So then he gets like a one-two punch there. I wouldn't say Udabi is at fault here because, I mean, it all happened so fast. Of course, she sees it, understands it, and apologizes here. Right, right. Um, but right. that doesn't get counted as a, as a knockdown. Okay, okay. What an incredible fighting spirit from Hasumi, actually. Mm. Very impressive. After that, yeah. you, you, that, you break your spirits for sure. So there they are, back at it. And round two. Okay. Bit under two and a half minutes left. I'm thinking that maybe Hasumi is a little bit frustrated that he's fighting a uh, southpaw. Yeah, I see. Because he's a big bomb hander, right? Mm. Ooh, nice kick. And that would mean that because he's southpaw, it's going to be farther away for him to reach with his big right hand. Right, right. So unless he's like sort of used to sparring someone who's southpaw. He might be frustrated, and it looks that way. It looks like he's finding, having a hard time finding a groove here. Whereas, uh, Urabi looks very cool. Look. Yeah, because all, the, all his sparring partners, they're always orthodox. So oh, he's used right. to it. Ah, I see. Three. Three. <laughs> so, imagine a reminder there to the body. So this is like, so this is like under, uh, 62 62.5 kg so they've got real they've got that uh that body there's, there's no you know nothing uh unwanted on there that makes for speed i guess mm, they don't look that light actually no you're saying they, they can even after the weigh in the day before they can increase more like the next day for the fight? Yeah, well most of them drop down between four and seven kilos mm. and they just spend like a whole day in sauna. Mm. In and out of sauna, in and out of sauna, like dropping the weight. Right at the second after the weigh it is done, they start drinking and eating and they're like four kilos up wow. within that evening. Wow. But I mean everyone does it. Sure. Um, it's, it's just the way it is. Nothing wrong with that. So we got 20 seconds left. Round two. And Urabi is still, still keeping the pace up. Well, he's hurting because he's taking a big punch. His nose is bleeding. Mm. You know, and Urabi is just like sussing him out here, playing around with him. This is what he could do all day, by the way. Like, at that kind of pace, where he's just chipping him away, one punch at a time, one combination at a time. This is where he is, you know, in his elements. Yeah, you mentioned that how precisely there's any end that we can keep that pace up. Yeah, for, absolutely. For any fight. Now, so the, the thing is, Hasumi at this point is falling into his trap of ah. doing that. He's letting him get away with it, but that's how good he is. And this kind of, um, on Hasumi's part, that's, he, he hasn't been able to dodge that, right? No. Of that trap. No, he hasn't. Not at this point, but maybe he did take a good punch, and it's sometimes it can like to. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like that. The, the, the second half of this round here was just very like almost like sparring level. Like mm -hmm. they're not really trying to knock each other out. They're trying to just like get through the fight and figure something out. Sometimes you you need to do that. You need to spend the time with the guy in the ring to figure out what's going on without really getting hurt. As long as you're not yeah exactly. If you're not getting hurt, you could you could sometimes play around like that. Because you, know, you want to know what the guy can do or can't do. Yeah. So, I mean, this is round three. This is the round that they want to finish it. So the pace is going to get higher, see? Already. He's coming out with big bombs. This is how he wanted to fight. This is how Hasumi wanted to fight. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay. So Rav is still trying to keep the cool, but Hasumi bringing it on. Oh, but he's just so smooth. Like, he doesn't even get excited. Doesn't get nervous. He just goes with the flow. He knows how good his defense is. Yeah, I'm back to the day. Cool, cool him. And he's got the cool. Nice. 
See, all the small divisions didn't let him in. Yeah. Break, break, break. Mm -hmm. And he's always got that X factor because he can pretty much kick you from anywhere. The rubber king, right? Yeah. You don't know what's going to come. He's yeah. got such a like, display of kicks that he's got that you can use from. Himself. From both legs? Yeah, both yeah. legs. Yeah. He's from karate. Mm. So the, yeah. Oh, Ooh, yeah. nice. See, that was really smart. Kicks him on the inside of the leg on the first one. Second was a body shot. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this Good, lock him up. Mess with his breathing. Oh, there's a lot of blood in here. Yeah, yeah. Actually, with that kind of amount of blood, he could have broken his nose. You think so? Yeah. What if Hassan is actually fighting with a broken nose here? That would be unbelievably, like, courageable. Yeah. But obviously, that uh, judge, that referee hasn't stopped it. It's not to that level yet, right? No. It's more of a, a, a blood nose rather than, like, a cut somewhere on his face. Ah, uh, one more minute. <laughs> he really is smooth. <laughs> Uh, see, now Urabi has got him in his little, his little magical net again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. on his own timing. The trap, the Urabi trap. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, it's really interesting to see how how they react like that. But he's doing exactly what he did in the second round. Ooh, that, that, yeah, yeah, that was good kick. Yeah, but definitely. It's Ooh, that. short punch. It's that Urabi trap that people keep on falling into, I guess. Yeah, it's that, it's that him. Uh, and he, he's not even going to try and finish this round strong. Mm. This is what he does. He's got 10 seconds left and... Oh, he just doesn't let him do anything. Yes. And then, yeah, and wow, that was the end of <laughs> round three. And as you said, Urabe pretty much looked the same and jumped around like he did in the first round. Nothing changes. Mm. He never got um, too excited. He never overexerted himself. He stayed really calm and kept moving and just making his own distance. Yeah. Really cool fighter, actually. Look, look at him, like, still. Like now, yeah. Much respect for this guy. I would say, if you're asking me, 30-29 to Urabe. Okay. Next judge. 30-29. Decision. And uh, like you said, uh, Nick. Yeah. Precision. Like right from. Yeah, the you know. Round. I saw his record and I thought, okay, this is going to be a really cool technician. And he really was. He pulled it off from round one to round three. I'm not sure what would have given him uh, all three rounds, but at least one or two. Yeah, there you go. So 50 wins and another extra one on his record there. Yeah. He's not even excited when he wins. I don't know if he's won. Yeah. Probably he walks out of there with no injuries also. Yeah, yeah, I was saying, like, that's probably Hasumi's blood on his shoulder, but yeah. um, nothing damaged personally. <laughs> 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 which is, which uh, is a nice way to go home. And it, yeah. You know. But he makes it enjoyable to watch, as in it's like you're not really expecting him to win by a knockout. If he does get a knockout at one point and he doesn't, he hasn't had a lot of knockouts, then it'll be like just a bonus because it's just really pleasurable to see him fight. Right, yeah. As you say, it's, 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 it's the flow that he has, it's the style that he has. It's so cool about it. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> Now I want to go back and watch his fight with his brother. Yeah, that 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 way. Got that. Got it there. So 
Thank you very much for, for watching. Uh, this was the K1 World the 2021 Kings Fiesta. This was four and day one. The winner for this fight was uh, Koya Urabe. I'm Russell Guru. And I'm Nicholas Pettis.